It's me, I'm a good boy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, but yeah, man, I'm gonna be reacting to some Valorant cringe again. A lot of you might be thinking that the people who are to e-pals are usually creeps, but honestly, that's simply not the case. Surprisingly, a lot- And a bunch of other streamers reacted to my video, including Skridinger Lee, okay? Sending my girlfriend a gift package for her birthday. Got her the whole Hello Kitty and Friends Funko Pop sent. Dude, what are you doing, bro? No, why would you do this? No, man. Oh, there's more. No. Sanrio key change. Hello Kitty plushie. Hello What is this? Bro, is this guy Danny a preschooler? Like, what is happening? If your word is in public, you're getting insta-bullied. She doesn't say I love you like a normal person. Instead, she'll go on Discord and talk to you. Dude, what the? Wait, wait, this is her profile picture, and that's his. And for the looks of it, it looks like she's matching profile pictures with somebody else. I, I hate to break it to you, but I think... I think she might just be cheating on you. Oh my god, there's no way. She, she's definitely like, like taking his money or something. It doesn't feel like depression to me. I just feel burnt out. Because I'm not necessarily super sad. I'm just like literally empty. Kids, try not to make everything sad and depressing challenge. Uh, go. Oh, and this makes you fail. I just feel so burnt out. It's not that deep. You're you're 12, okay, sweetie. Yeah, I just go play some Legos. And my only goal in life is to make sure that they know how perfect they are and help them through their insecurities. That is a terrible goal. So your goal in life is to just glaze. <laughs> so your goal in life is just to glaze somebody, okay? Like what? Well, that's your goal. Like you know, you, make, you, you don't want money. You don't want like fast cars. I tried to, but he left. What, the Discord server? Like, why are you- One thing I, I realized is that all these Valorant players look exactly the same. What? What are these Roblox tracers? The first guy, okay, first guy. Let's take a look at the second guy. <laughs> Alright, now let's take a look at the third guy. I love this, I love this. <laughs> They also have like, I get like this act of Valorant accent. It's just oh, another way to call themselves cringe. That's really it. You fall classic? Look here, the map black goes hard. You pass. Look, key, the map black goes here. It goes here. Look, key, it goes here. It goes here. Here. When your Valorant Roger accent me. comes out. Yo, no shot. I like your Valorant accent. Did it just come out naturally? Yeah. Oh. Uh, wait, did my Valorant action just come out? Oh my god. Wait, no shot. Wait, no shot. My you gotta make sure that I eat or drink. I'm, I'm, starting, I'm starting to get convinced that this guy just typed into himself on another account. <laughs> Alright, so next up, I'm gonna just get to it. Um, these Valorant coaching sessions are straight up scams. Pretend I'm just, you know, some like va random Valorant player. You know, I really like this YouTuber named Joel's TV, right? And I find out that he actually does, um, he does coaching sessions. So as you can see, you know, I got a bunch of guys. So I'm interested in Joel's, right? So I'm gonna schedule a session and let's check it out. So, oh, coaching with Joel's one hour four. We double check this. Um, one hour for hundred. So this guy is charging a hundred and seventy-five dollars for an hour of coaching. This is something is fake art. How are you gonna charge a hundred and seventy-five for a video game coaching? What? Like, do these guys not understand that you can just go on Pro Guys Valorant? There's more than like 800 videos. So you know what? Let's give this guy the benefit of the doubt, okay? Let's say, all right, fine. You know what? You have a lot of value in your name, right? Maybe that's why you want Ruff, ruff, ruff. You're already barking. Excuse me? Hmm? What's up? What are you listening to? Oh, Viper Come Voice Line Bass Boosted Skrillex Edition uh, Remix. Just imagine telling somebody that you have a Valorant coaching class. Hey, you trying to play some basketball later? Oh, no. Nah. I can't, bro. I got coaching today. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, no, that's I fine can. then. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, yeah sorry, bro. Coaching. Wait, what are you training for? You, you like for like another sport or? Oh, no. Nah, it's not. It's not sports. It's not sports. Um, I, Someone's coaching me in Valorant today. Yeah.
E dating prices um, sleep call 10 minute for 20 bucks, 30 minute for 40 bucks. One of so, one, um, I'm gonna see this link for later. Two, why are you doing this, bro? For an hour of sleep call, it's 70 bucks. It at least has cheaper than Joel's, right? Um, Joel's will probably be charging probably like $500 for. Um, I see an hour of sleep calls. So who is doing a sleep call for 10 hours? And who is sleeping for 10 minutes? Damn, none of us got a kill. So the person me? sounds like Jet. Sorry. That's a, that's... As you should be. Wait, well, why do you sound like Jet? Huh? No win. There's a reason no she's top of the leaderboard and you're not. Let's go. Hong God. Oh. Hong God. Hong God. Do you talk like this in real life? Do you go to someone and say, oh, Hong God, in your Jet voice? Her, we're done. Well, you're not enough for me no more. Block me. K, two hours later. Her, can you please send me audios? I miss you so bad right now. Me, anything from my favorite lady, okay. So this guy might, I think this guy is actually schizophrenic. Like he just makes up these scenarios in his head for fun. It's sad how bad I want this. What, what? what do you want? What do you want so bad? This is a fake scenario. Like what? This guy must be like 21. 21, oh my God. 21 years old. 21 years old. Can you call uh, Reyna a good girl? Puck, what are you doing? A candy jet? Should I? <laughs> yeah, you should. Sue, you're such a good girl. <laughs> I'm done, bro. I'm done. Okay, let's try to end. Wait, are they giving head pats? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. What are they doing? <laughs> These e daters, man. Like, th like this guy, this guy is talking as if, as if he's not worse. My parents like push me. If I didn't get into Harvard, they would do all sorts of bad shit. So I have two choices. Either get punished or do things right and try not to get punished, which inadvertently led me to Harvard. I'm once again to Harvard. That's actually inspirational. So I, it was a very it good is thing. actually like, I sacrificed so much of my childhood, damn. my mental health, just it in general. Actually pretty you know, it's like winning a rank game after getting called all slurs. All right, bro. And he just ruined it. He's all right, bro. He's ruined. Why does this guy keep relating back to Valorant, bro? Stop. <laughs> like it was such a good story, and he just and he just started yapping about Valorant. She chose his vandal over yours without knowing you sold your shields just to buy her, and that he already had 9k credits. Like, what the does this guy think he's Willis? So why why are you relating back to Valorant, bro? Like, bro, and this is ironic. This, this is like serious. This is so serious, bro. Like, this guy thinks like he really did something here. <laughs> I need a pocket sage RL because I need to be healed. This is so dumb. How do people like post like this? Like, it's so corny, bro. Did you watch the Steven Lin video? Isn't that the kid who said it looked like the Dingley Ren kid or some? Shit? I, I think I saw that shit a month back. He just made a new one. A new. Is he that obsessed with me? God. Do you like Steven Lin? And what do you think about the videos? Why is everyone so obsessed with Steven Lin? It's like, there's like two people that they talk about. They talk about Elevens and Steven Lin. Okay, so this guy's talking about uh, Elevens. And Willis is going to go ahead and compare me with a guy who got all his followers purely based off just looking like tens. Don't compare me to this talentless bro. And I realized that part of the reason why I was growing so quickly was a combination of two things. Number one, my content was starting to become better and more enjoyable. And number two, I was starting to become more recognized across multiple platforms. Bro, like, is this guy, is this guy like brain dead, bro? It's because you look like tens, bro. Like, this guy's trying to be like all like analytical and stuff. The reason why I was becoming more recognized was largely due to my Sentinels jersey, which- What? It's because you look like tens, but bro, is this guy, is this, is this guy fried in the brain? It's because you look like tens, bro. Like, this is guy right here. A meme, like he's just like a meme for looking like a person. Like, yeah, with about, an all. When people hear the name Elevens, I want them to think about the gritty and all my other things rather than the guy that just wears a scent. Oh, hell no, bro. What did this guy just say, dude? When people hear the name Elevens, I want them to think about the gritty, bro. Jesus Christ, this is sad, bro. This is so sad. I never even like associated with him. I'm sure he's a great guy, but yeah. I still don't know who that is, to be honest with you, but happy for you or sad for you, bro. Like this guy, I feel like this guy's just like trying his best to like ego me. Clearly you watch my videos, so you know who like I am. He just can't end it off with, I don't know, like, um, yeah, I'm sure he's a great guy, but he, he is really annoying, so stop talking about him. Like he just can't say end it off like, And apparently people just kept asking this guy, so he started losing his mind. 
opinion on Steven Lin. Bro, this is the 15th person who's that. I don't, I don't know who that is. All right, really? Like, I'm sorry, I don't know who that is, Katrina. He's the guy that I still don't know who you're talking about. If it's that one video about that one who compared me to the chess dude or some I still don't know who he is. Oh, that chess player? Oh, yeah, I don't know who he is. It's like, it's like 15 people who've asked me today, bro. I still don't know who that is. Yeah, it's pretty obvious, you know, he's just trying his best to ego. Like, for some reason, he just had to make it clear that he didn't know who I was, bro. Clearly, this guy is like, has a huge ego, right? Which, I don't care if your ego is big, but it's only funny if you're like Obama or like SUC. You are Willis, bro. You're, 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 you play Valorant for eight hours a day and post cringy TikToks. Like, relax, buddy, okay, relax. Like, you, I am Willis. Do not speak to me. Oh my, this guy's Shigma. You worthless crap. Wow, okay, this, like who even says that? Who even says that? Yeah, I, I'm Willis, bro. I'm Willis. Back up. I'm, do you know who I am? I'm Willis, the guy who makes cringy t uh, TikTok skits. He reacted to your reaction. Why? Uh, easy content? Reacting to a reaction? That's a bot. Should be like, what reaction? Reacting to a reaction. That's a bot, okay? Let's see what your videos are, dude. Can you guess your Valorant rank? Like, is that like, like, oh wow, that that's so original, bro. Wow, that's so original, Willis. Wow. What, what do you mean, bot? What do you mean, bot, bro? What Quick shout out on subscribe to my second channel, okay? So, link in the description. I'm gonna be posting on there. So, but yeah, this is. You shouldn't spend so much time on your PC playing games. So, it's not something like that. And if I forget, oh, so, oh, so, she, oh, so they E broke up. This is like, this is real. It's like genuine emotion poured in this video, bro. Yeah, so guys, I'm gonna be completely honest. Um, I've kind of ran out of clips to react to, and screw up. I, I, I'm gonna have to react to Jibu Val again. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, okay? I'm, I I have to, bro. I'm out of clips, and you know, Jibu Val just never fails to so just just make me cringe, so. I want you to know that I went to the University of Mississippi, graduated with a PhD in quantum physics, walked in the footsteps of Christopher Columbus, went to Walt Disney, and met Mike Rizalski, a Risley bear. Bro, this guy. This guy is a living TikTok comment. <laughs> That's how he describes you about. He he is just a living TikTok comment. Like he just does not stop yapping about stuff that you would see in TikTok comments. He's a bot. He is actually a bot, bro. Three words to describe to you. King of Riz. <laughs> and the king of Riz's appears again. I'll give you an ooh if you win this round. As you can see, I'm in a 1v1 right now, and this is how a pro player wins this 1v1. And before I go into this one- So like, like, I know I talk a lot of trash on this guy, but like, this guy actually like, has like a God-given gift. Usually, you know, someone's cringe, like, yeah, they're occasionally cringe, right? But this guy manages to be cringe every time he opens his mouth. Why didn't you tell me? I tried? Oh, so it's like, why didn't you tell me that uh, about what you were feeling, right? But. Here's the thing, she's, she's saying she, I, I tried telling you by um, showing a bunch of TikTok reposts. Who even sees TikTok reposts? You're, you're chronically on your phone. Hope you're doing good, blood. This might just be Jibu Val's alt account. All right, so another person I want to react to is this guy, okay? So basically this guy was reacting to um, Reddit and apparently my video got late. Need to hit back. Welcome to Rizzer Miss Bowen Edition. You must be Killjoy, because you got my heart What did he roast me? Bro, did you link your own video? Don't f***ing piss me off, bro. So I guess he, you know, he didn't want to watch it, which is perfectly fine, right? I don't care if you don't want to watch the video, but apparently uh, he didn't want to watch it because he thought I linked my own video to him. Gotta react to this. So the second time I got linked. Bro, what, bro? Why are y'all linking this? Nice, bro. Next, so you did just you know watch the video and then and, 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 and then your chat just goes dot 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 cringe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can tell this guy enjoys OTV. First of all, how did this guy know? Okay, I love off time TV, especially Peter Park. Okay, I, that guy's extremely funny. Dislike. Um, nothing wrong about that guy. Second of all, all right. If you're gonna assume things about me, I guess you know it's fair that I assume things about you. Okay, see, nice sneaky. So um, from what I can assume, uh, you probably eat McDonald's for all breakfast, brunch, dinner. Midnight snack. I guarantee you're on this guy's stream 24 7. Every time he's live, you're on the stream, chatting all day. So, yeah, he gets linked my video like three more times after. Yeah. Same person. What? Bro, you just leaked your video again, bro. Don't f piss me off, bro. And that is indeed. Imagine getting roasted by Steven Lin. Stop linking this video, bro. Your Sheesh. own video. Stop linking this own video.
apartment. So the first time it gets linked, all right, you know, it could have potentially been me. The second time it gets linked, uh, I think it's a bit of a stretch, but still, you know, could have potentially been me still. The fourth time, okay, is clearly not me at this point. It's clearly just another one of your degenerate viewers, okay? You 5-3 bowling! Never mind, bro, just all right. This is so another thing I want to look at are these Valorant Eve Howl story times, okay? All right, this is something I really didn't think would ever happen, but with how my videos have been blowing up a lot recently, I suppose it should be expected that a couple people where I live would eventually see them. Though, what I didn't expect was for one of them to recognize my voice in public. I went grocery shopping the other day and when i went to check out i started asking the cashier how her day was she hesitated a moment before telling me she recognized my voice got out her phone and opened up tick like d does she think she's famous or something this did not happen oh my wait are, are you dare blossom e -pal? no no so for the most part the clients i've had on e -pal have been an absolute joy however this one guy that ordered me was anything but a joy this absolute was so degrading when asking his question. Like it's crazy how she expects these people who order e pals to be like normal people. <laughs> it's not normal people, right? Like it's like they unironically ordered an e pal to play a game with like a female. Like that. A lot of you might be thinking that the people who order e pals are usually creeps, but honestly, that's simply not the case. Surprisingly, a large majority of my clients have been college kids. Whenever I've asked them why they use ePal, they say it's because they don't know a lot of people that play the video games they play. So she's talking about, um, oh, they're telling me that they don't know a lot of people that play the games they play, right? So if you look at her ePal, right? She offers Valorant, League of Legends, and Team Fight Tactics. She's talking like these guys are, you know, trying to find people to play um, Slither.io. A situation I hear often when people order me on ePal is that their partner or spouse is treating them negatively. And they don't like why are you like if you have that issue, don't go on e -pal, bro. Bro, whenever this girl gets a boyfriend, bro, she will be mad lucky. I accidentally fell in love with my Valorant duo. <laughs> Let me explain. We met on the server. That's in my bio. We started talking and he said he really liked my voice. A toxic kid called me useless and a dishwasher. What the? He then defended me and told me he loved me to that toxic player. <laughs> I fell in love with him since. I don't God. care what people say. Valorant can be used to find people you will love. It's crazy because people actually like watch this video and join their Discord in their bio. Oh my god, Eden is so awesome. Oh my god, let me join their Eden in Discord. Steven Lynn reacts to my Discord and TikTok? He's hilarious, definitely subbed on after. What the hell? Let me check out this server again. Let me let me see what these guys are up to, man. So, um, yep. Member rates are um, at a record high. Wait, what the hell? Wait, what the hell? Why, why did you put me in here? Dude, another one, really? We stop, you know, stop sending my photos in the face reveal. That's actually messed up. Y'all don't have my consent. What the hell is this? Um, so, I mean, I'm looking at this. Apparently, we got a 4PF like member in this loveless Discord. You might just be tarnishing the 4PF name here. Little baby might be pretty pissed. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, but I lied to you guys, okay? I actually don't have the screening of the Eclipse. Uh, it's a long story, guys. It's a long story, but basically, TLDR. I'm pissed and um, he ghosted me, okay? So basically, right, I woke up in the morning from bed and I opened my phone and saw a clip of Skridinger Lee reacting to me. So then here comes the problem, right? Um, I go onto my PC, I went to go check on the clip and I realized that um, Devon got deleted. It wasn't there anymore. So I was like, oh man, you know what? Egos aside, freak ego, you know, I'm not Willis, man. I'm gonna donate to this guy and tell him to please just unpack this vibe so I can get his reaction. Sadly, I couldn't get that clip either, but um, here's a reenactment of what happened. Hey man, can you Yo. unprivate your VOD? I need your reaction for my next yeah, video. Thanks so much for everything. Uh, uh, oh yeah, man. Uh, oh, oh yeah, oh, oh, right, oh, right. So yeah, man, things were looking good at this point, you know, I was like, all right, man, get the clip, this is gonna be our best video ever, man. So yeah, man, here's when it goes downhill, okay? I thought, you know, me and him would have just like, chopped it up in the DM. You know, I was just super happy. I thought I got myself a new friend. Um, you know, besides the fact that he called me rice gum, which was kind of weird, but here's when things go downhill, man. His subathon ended, right? He's, he's able to unpublish the bot now. So I was like, all right, bro, let me know, man. No rush, no rush. No response. Um, hello? Okay, I'm thinking this guy um, actually just completely ghosted me. Four more days later, still no response. A couple more days.
Four days later, I just gave up, bro. <laughs> so I gave this guy five bucks, and I literally called him daddy in a call. I called him daddy, bro. You know how embarrassing that is? I called him daddy in my own comment section. I'm Never mind, bro. <laughs> but that's it for the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more content. And also, follow my socials, alright? It's in the link in the description. Um, see ya.